Hello and welcome. My name is Hanna and today we would like to show you the use of the water requirement tool. You can find the Excel worksheet on the Energypedia website. Here you find as well the country case card Kenya. This is a word file with the data of Mary's farm, her situation and questions to answer. This tool serves to calculate the water requirement for crops and livestock depending on their geographic position and the rainfall patterns at the location of the planned solar-powered irrigation system. The links to complementary tools from FAU are also available and can be downloaded here. Now we will open the first sheet, Geographic Data. Some data are already in this sheet to give users a feeling of what kind of data they have to use. In our case, we remove the data. Most certainly, you would use your own data. But for demonstration of this tool, we enter the data from the country case card Kenya. Country is Kenya and the farm name is Mary Vedicus Farm. The region is Taita Taveta and the data here is the one you are filling in the sheets. Let us take the 30th of April 2019. Mean daily temperature and rainfall is given in the case card Kenya and we fill it in. Taita Taveta is in the southern hemisphere and is located 5 degrees south. We now go to sheet 2, crop water requirement. For the area measurement unit we see hectares. But in our case we use acres and we see in the table area conversion ratios to hectare on the top center that we have to use a conversion factor from hectare to acre of 2.47 which we fill in. We find an irrigation need which is not correct as it is based on the original data which is barely oats or wheat. We cannot remove them, but as soon as we fill in the crops for our case, the data in the fields will change. Mary wants to grow tomatoes with irrigation, so we fill in tomato. She will irrigate one acre and start beginning of March. We consider an average crop growing time. She first uses flood irrigation, but later switches to micro sprinkler. So let's use here micro sprinkler. The cropping density is normal spacing. She has the opportunity to start a second crop of tomatoes on her one acre plot beginning of September. Again, we choose an average crop growing time and normal spacing, again with micro sprinkler. Now we see the irrigation water need in cubic meter per day below the temperature and rainfall data table. The green bar on the bottom gives you important findings so far. The highest daily irrigation water need per day is 26.3 cubic meters. And this is in June. The pump utilization rate is 54% and the yearly water need is 5184 cubic meters. The graph below shows you rainfall, evapotranspiration and the total irrigation requirements over a period of two years. If you are unsure about crop data like growing periods and water requirement, you can have a look at the last sheet of this tool, which is called Crop Information. You may even insert data on the bottom of your own crop, which might not be listed. We now go to sheet 3, Livestock Water Requirements, to determine the demand of the livestock on Mary's farm. Here again you see data in the second table from the top that is the water need giving as liters per day or cubic meters per day, which are not relevant for our case. We know from the country case card Kenya that Mary has three cows and we choose lactating cows all through the year. Now if you have this filled in you find the correct data on the table with the water need. 
On the right hand side of the sheet you find some livestock types with their water demand, but as well a link to more detailed data. The green bar on the bottom gives you the highest daily water need, which is 0.5 cubic meters, in the month of January. The graph below shows the mean daily temperature. You can see that the livestock water requirement is higher from December to March when temperatures are higher in the hot season. We now go to the summary sheet that gives you a comprehensive water need of crop water requirements, livestock water requirements and total water requirements, always in cubic meters per day and US gallons per day. The green bar below the table gives you the summary. Now you can answer the questions of the country case card Kenya. For the first questions regarding water requirements, you may go back to the crop water requirement sheet and choose first only one crop with flood irrigation and then introducing a second growing season. The How this tool works sheet gives you the detailed basis for the water requirement calculations used in this tool. The calculations are based on FRO's training manual number 3 on irrigation water requirement.